Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to the first part in the V-Ray series for Cinema 4D. This first part is going to be more of an overview and introduction to what we're going to be doing. Now instead of starting from the ground up and making several hours worth of tutorials on just the modeling because that's the part that actually took the longest uh, for this entire scene was the modeling. Instead of going through and doing all that I decided to just make all of this ahead of time and just provide it for you to download. That way we can spend more time on V-Ray textures, lighting and setting up the camera and the V-Ray settings. So I'm sure most of you already know how to model basic interior pieces that would be inside of a room. So there's really no need for me to have to go through here and spend countless hours trying to go over all of the modeling. So all you need to do is just download the scene file in the description to this video and once you open it then you'll be able to follow along. Now I'm using 11.5 so those of you with 11.5 and R12, you will be able to follow along with this and use the scene file. Now just to give you a heads up, the scene file that I've provided does not have any texturing applied to anything. Everything is just basic standard geometry. There's no camera, there's no lights, no textures, there's nothing at all. And the reason for that is because since this series is going to be about V-Ray, then I feel it would probably be best if we started from scratch uh, as far as the lighting, the camera, the render settings, and the material goes. Okay, so let's quickly look at what we're going to be lighting and texturing. This is an interior bedroom shot. And let me jump into the camera. So as you can see, this is an interior shot. It is a bedroom, and this would be the type of house that would be facing the beach. So we have beachfront property out there as well. We have a deck on the back with some different patio furniture. Now, all of the models in this scene are a variation of my own models. Uh, there's also some quick geometry that I quickly put together for this series, as well as some models that I found online. So this is a wide variety of different types of geometry. So to show you what the final image looks like that we're going to be creating here, I'm just going to pull up the picture viewer. Now this particular shot, of course, is a 1920 by 1080. And on my machine, it took approximately 8 minutes and 11 seconds to render this one shot. Okay, so I'm just going to expand my picture viewer. And I'm going to scale this up a little bit so we can see this image a little better. So there's a variation in this scene of different type of modules. For one thing, the MoGraph module, that does work with V-Ray, of course, because I'm using the cloner object to clone the wood planks here for the floor. And I'm also using the hair module. And the hair module here is generating the geometry for this uh, throw rug here uh, on the floor. Alright guys, so that is the overview of what we're going to be working with and lighting here for this V-Ray series. So, that concludes this part, and uh, be on the lookout for the next part, which will be coming very soon.